Hello everybody, it is Indy Meets Disney and we are doing something super special today that we've never done before. Yeah, we are here at the Legoland Hotel. We're going to spend a couple of nights here and we are super excited to check out all the fun things they have to offer. Yeah, so let's go do this and have some fun. complete with a drawbridge and of course an ogre to watch over things and make sure everything is a-okay. You -okay. can see we're currently in sight of the pirate ship. There are tunnels and fortresses and a castle right next to us. Lots of spots to build with Legos including these little spots right here which are super kid friendly. Hi Captain! I found a prisoner in the castle. I found a prisoner in the castle. It's right here at the castle on this little stage here. They have different activities that take place each day. They have like a story time, a dance party, all kinds of different events that you can catch and have fun with your kids. Uh, we got to see Gemma dance right here at this stage. <laughs> Probably one of the best perks of staying at the Legoland Hotel is just right over there, just a few short steps, and you are at Legoland Theme Park. There's the entrance way right over there. So they have this brick wall of fame here hanging on the wall. You notice some famous names here. So we have Will Arnett over here that voiced Batman. We have Chris Pratt up here that voiced Emmett. Jody Sweeten. So there's a lot of famous celebrities that have come through and signed their names here to this wall. We have this area, that's a Lego theater. So upon entering, you've got this cool movie attendant. All these really cool like pillows you can sit on and they've got a Lego playing at all times. And here is the Lego Hotel gift shop to get anything that you might need or have forgotten or pick up your newest Lego purchase as needed. So I must pick out some things from the uh, gift shop. So lots of people running around with these swords and shields last night. Kind of check out and see they've got lots of different kits for sale. Anything Lego themed that you can imagine. Costumes. Some swimsuits, things to go to the water park, swim shoes. Look at these cute pajamas they have for kids. So inside the Lego Land Hotel, you have the Skyline Lounge as an option, or right across the way you have the Bricks um, Restaurant as two options that you can eat at. Okay, I want to take a look at the menu for the Skyline Cafe. So here's the kids menu. So it says that they have some options here. So they have the little brick burger, some chicken fingers, a grilled cheese sandwich, a hot dog, grilled chicken and veggies, or macaroni and cheese. It says these are all served with choice of french fry or seasonal vegetables or fruit cup. 
and your choice of drink. I did ask the uh, hostess, she said these ran $14. Um, so be prepared to spend a little bit of money um, if planning to dine here at Legoland. Um, but obviously they do come with a side and they do come with a drink. Okay, let's take a look at the Skylight Lounge dinner menu. So they have several appetizers, such as chicken wings, six is 12, 10 wings is 18, some honey, a hot honey shrimp for $18, chips and salsa for 10, pretzel twist for 14, roasted street corn dip for 14, some handhelds, so a brick burger for 18, plant-based burger for 18, a turkey melt for about 20, fresh fish sandwich for 19, grilled chicken sandwich for um, about 19. Um, they have some entree options, crispy chicken tenders for 18, Chef Skyline pasta for 20, a curry uh, for 20, Skyline steak um, at market price it says, uh, salmon piccata for 30, meatballs with polenta for 26, some uh, sides here that are a la carte priced, um, some different salads, as you can add chicken, shrimp, or salmon to them at seven bucks each. They have a Greek salad for 14, a Caesar salad for 14, and an Asian salad for 14. Uh, none of these do come with drinks, those would be an additional um, cost on top of that. I did want to show some dessert options as well at the Skyline Lounge. So they have some Brick Beard. Brickbeard's Treasure um, for 13 bucks. This is a warm brownie with chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich served with toffee pieces, chocolate sauce, caramel sauce, and whipped cream, and large enough to share. Sounds pretty tasty. Fried apple pie for nine and fried Oreo cookies for nine. So here's a look at the Briggs Family Restaurant. It's a buffet. So adults are 31, children are 15. This is all you can eat. It includes um, a drink. So there's a carving station. So this has roast beef there. I'm an Asian station, fried rice, noodles, sweet and sour chicken, vegetable egg rolls, taco station, pork carnitas, shredded chicken, fajita vegetables, flour tortillas and toppings, international station with baked uh, salmon, uh, mashed potatoes, salmon, uh, seasonal vegetables, we have a soup station, um, we have build your own pasta, a salad station, all different toppings there, a kids section. Um, chicken tenders, turkey corn dogs, cream macaroni and cheese, french fries, steamed broccoli, and kernel corn, and several different desserts here. Assorted cakes, freshly baked cookies, ice cream, and fresh fruit. This sounds great. I think this is where we'll be dining this evening. One thing I did want to add too is if you get one of these refillable mugs in the park, I know it costs per day um, to have them charged up to fill in the parks, but in the resort, you can also fill them each day. You don't even have to have the charge on it. You just take it down to your restaurant in your resort and you can fill it up as much as you like. Nice little bonus of staying at the Legoland Resort. So another cool thing about the Lego Hotel is that the elevator is also a makeshift dance party. Would you do the honors? What? What? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> so, one of the very unique things is the hallway. So, take a look here. So, here we're in the pirate area, um, part of the Lego Hotel. So, the hallway here is themed. You can tell we have a pirate ship. And you walk this this way a little bit and you're in a lego movie part of the hotel so all the rooms down there are going to be themed to lego movie so you can tell exactly what part of the hotel you're in based on the carpeting and then the rooms change as well the door frames and the walls change and you can kind of tell what part of the hotel you're in based on the decor so that's pretty cool all right we're about to head into this creative workshop where they have a master builders class so this is technically included in your hotel stay. They charge a $30 um, resort fee. So it's part of that $30 resort fee. You do have to sign up for this. 
Um, so I suggest to get your money's worth that you sign up for it. You're gonna build some sort of Lego creation that you get to take home. Um, and each person in your group can do it. So all three of us are gonna sign up and try it out um, and see uh, what uh, creation we get to make. All right, Gemma, are you ready to build? What do you think you're gonna make? All right, let's do it. Here in the creative workshop. The first layer of our plane, so we're almost done. So good job, guys. Yeah. So we're gonna next grab this two by two white plate with this little tunnel in the front. We're gonna grab this gray stick, put it in your little tunnel. You have that first row open and then you place your clear piece right behind and you're going to fill in the sides with the second half. Grab the red clear piece and we're going to put it on the Show me! Wow! Upon entering the pool area, you can actually check out and, and get a life vest if you're a kiddo in each one. And then look how amazing this is. It's kind of like a zero entry pool, so it just kind of gets gradually deeper as you go in. You can see there's lots of areas where kids can play with those big Lego bricks. My goodness, he's supposed to build a boat. That's amazing. Coolest thing ever. And there's a really cool area, lots of um, umbrellas and things like that for the adults to um, be able to hang out in while their kids are playing. Right next to the pool, there is a gigantic slide. So you go up a few levels of stairs, and you go around and around and around and down and down into this plummeting area. It's a pretty cool slide. You're at Legoland Resort. There are restrooms available just directly outside of the gates of the pool. Um, so if you're in need of that, there is a men's and a women's restroom. Never seen a concept like this before for getting your towels. Uh, but you'll actually use your room key to access your towels and then you'll open the door get your clean towels Make sure the door is closed and then when you're finished you're going to return it here and It does mention that if you don't return your towels, it's a fee of $20 for each towel So here's just a look at the mini golf course um, here available at Legoland Resort um, so you would pick up your clubs and golf balls up at the front desk. I think sometimes they might have the option down here at this cart, um, but it doesn't appear that it's all the time because it, the uh, sign there on the door says pick it up at the uh, front desk. It's eight bucks a person. It says two and under are free um, to play. Other than that, it's eight dollars a person to come down here and play. That's a nice little option uh, when you get done with the park, come over here and just have a little extra fun playing some mini golf. And then just right here beside the mini golf is the fire pit. That's where you can come down if you buy your um, s'mores kit for $25. Come down here, bring your s'mores kit, your fire sticks. Um, have some fun with your family, toasting up your s'mores, making those, and just creating some memories. Ready to make some s'mores. And it's hot for the fires in the some more? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yummy. Chocolatey marshmallow goodness. Yeah. Good stuff, Daddy? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, we are waiting in line for breakfast this morning. It's at Brooks Family Restaurant, and uh, it's family style, and it's free. So we're going to give this a try this morning and tell you how it is. Okay, so we have received our food spread. Um, so start off with drinks. We could choose anything we wanted, like juices, milks, anything from the freestyle machine. They gave us some fruit to start with. They said they've just run out of strawberries. We've got the cantaloupe and juicy pineapple. Look at these amazing Lego brick waffles. Um, it sounds like they do trade out either waffles or French toast or pancakes on a daily basis or a really routine basis. And today we got these really cool brick waffles. There's a little bit of like blueberry topping, some butter with that. And check out this family style spread. We've got some bacon, those seasoned potatoes, scrambled eggs, biscuits, and yummy looking gravy. It looks like this girl couldn't even wait. She's already eaten the bacon. How is it? Is it good? Yeah. And hiding behind that mountain of bacon is some strips of, not strips, some links of sausage. All right, we've had our Bricks family restaurant. Uh, included breakfast, what do you think? It was really good. There was 
everything that we had on our big plate of food, family style, was stuff that we really enjoyed. Um, standouts for me, I love those like breakfast style potatoes. Those were really, really good. And the bacon was super crispy, wasn't it? You like it? Yeah. Oh, and then the uh, Lego waffles were so cute. And they were actually really good too. What did you think, honey? Yeah, I agree 100%. The food was way better than our dinner that we had uh, last evening. Um, it would be included was just an extra perk. Yeah. I mean, you don't get that in any of the other resort hotels. Um, so that was just so nice. And I loved, I think everything on the plate, I thought it was uh, great. Uh, so I give it two thumbs up. All right, it's checkout time here at the Legoland Resort. So overall, what was your thoughts? We had the best stay here. Um, so we stayed for two nights. Um, we are Disney lovers, as you know, but maybe we're now Legoland Hotel converts, maybe. maybe. So we've had such a great time. We loved the hotel pool, the floating Lego bricks around, just the creativity, seeing everybody build with those, really cool. Um, those are some of my favorite things. Yeah, the breakfast that was included, it was a mm. great breakfast yep. um, that was provided each morning to us, a family style breakfast, and the close proximity to the park. I mean, literally steps away from the park, which is was just awesome. The free um, entertainment that was provided each yes, evening, I the dance that. parties, the trivia, um, all that that was included. Um, I mean, the benefits are fantastic that they give you and provide to you here at the mm -hmm. resort. Oh, the free building sessions we had, yeah. the free take-home Legos that we got from that. Yep. I mean, it was great. And you're only talking a few dollars more than staying at the Pop Century Resort. And you weigh the benefits of this versus the benefits there. I think Legoland Resort probably wins in that uh, comparison. Yeah, we've had the best stay here. So we definitely recommend for you guys to check it out too. So. Any other things to add? I think that's it. Okay, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, we will see, see you real soon. soon. Bye, Bye. guys.